What's up, this is Andrew Kubiak, and in this video I'm going to teach you how to do a proper push-up. So one of the things I see almost all the time happen is people can do a proper push-up. Um, not in terms of on your knees versus a regular push-up, but just keeping everything in alignment. Uh, people have issues, be it having their hands too high, too wide, too narrow, letting their spine drop out of alignment, and things that really mess it up. Uh, the thing you want to keep in mind is when you do a push-up or any exercise, you're basically training your body for functional activities. So when you do a push-up, it should be akin to kind of when you would do it if you were standing up. So you would push something normally, like this. And then when people do incorrect push-ups, they're training their body to do activities like this. And you never do a push-up or any push that way. So when you train a push-up or any exercise, you want to make sure that you're training it like you would do in any normal activity, be it pushing something forward, or in the case of a row, pulling something, but that's a different video altogether. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of describe the different aspects you really want to look for when doing a push-up and making sure you're doing it right so you don't put your spine in jeopardy as well as making sure you get the correct form and not developing any muscle imbalances such as overly tight and strong shoulders and having your chest weak and basically inhibited. So as I stated earlier, when it comes to doing a push-up correctly, you want to make sure that you're doing it as if you're standing up or in your neutral posture. So instead of having your shoulders too far apart, uh, making sure you're pushing at the correct level, you want to make sure that everything's in alignment as if you were standing straight up with your body in its neutral posture um, and that you're pushing forward. So for a push-up, you want to basically have your hands at about chest level with, you could imagine this if you put your thumbs in your armpit and making sure that they're about shoulder width apart. Not too far, not too narrow. If you get too narrow, you're starting to involve your triceps too much and they'll end up taking over for your chest, which is okay if you want to do a tricep push-up, but not for this. So by putting your arms at chest level with your thumbs in your armpit, you're making sure everything's in a line and, and that you're pushing straight forward. The next thing is you don't want to look up, so a lot of people will look up as they do a push-up to check their form, and in doing that, they end up screwing up their form. So, when you do a push-up, again, making sure your hands are at that chest level, at that shoulder width, that your back is in alignment straight, not arched up, not dropping down, your shoulder blades don't collapse together, and that you don't look up. If you do this, check your form, you're putting your spine out of alignment and ending up screwing yourself up with your form by trying to check your form. So make sure that you're looking straight down at the ground with your spine in alignment. It seems pretty easy, but a lot of people end up mixing it up and doing a couple things wrong, a couple things right, and ending up potentially putting their spine in jeopardy. Um, not working their chest enough, making their shoulders take over for the action, or having other problems. So just make sure that you're going at a slow, controlled tempo, that you get the full range of motion going all the way up and down. You basically almost want your nose to hit the ground, and that you have your hands in the right position. So I hope that helps you guys. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to check my blog or send me a message.